Hey guys, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial. If you have any questions about my videos or anything in general, uh, head to my website and you can message me via my contact me page. Or if you want to just leave me a message down below in the comment section and like my videos and subscribe to me if you want to. So in my last video I showed you guys how to go ahead and download BlueJay which is a text editor, or it, in fact it's a Java editor, so it's a type of IDE for Java. Um, in this particular tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the very starters of Java. So, as a lot of you know, Java is an object-oriented programming language, uh, which means it mainly, it, for everything, it uses objects and classes, uh, it uses methods, and it uses fields and attributes. Uh, these names may sound foreign to you right now, however, in due course, I will sh uh, these will all be explained to you and you'll be able to use them very, very easily. So effectively, an object is just a noun. Uh, it can be a computer, it can be a window, it can be anything you want. So you can call it, for example, my car. Uh, and these have attributes and these have uh, all fields, which can be, for example, like the wheels, they can be uh, the desktop on your computer, they can be the window pane, etc etc and then you've also got things called methods methods are simply just the actions that the object can perform so for example a car can drive a bicycle can um, pedal or to pedal I guess is the verb um, you can turn on and off the monitor of a screen you can turn on and off a plug and you can turn up and down the volume on your stereo so things like that so all of these will be more thoroughly explained in due course for today's tutorial what I'm going to be showing you is what everyone learns, which is the hello world and how we're going to construct hello world. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into project in BlueJ. So open up BlueJ if you already haven't. So for me, it's just clicking down on the rocket dock. So project, new project. I'm just going to name this uh, hello world. Okay. And what this comes with in BlueJ, it comes with a text document which you can edit. Uh, and this text document is just to make it to make life easier for you when you so if you're trying to read someone else's code or trying to decide for someone else's code, you understand exactly what you're trying to do. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if you're just given a block of code and you're told figure it out, it's just it's just not easy sometimes. So project title, I'm just going to call it Hello World App. Purpose of project to create. Hello world. Version or date, so whatever, uh, fourth or version 1.0. How to start this project, don't really need that. Author, you can put your name or you can put uh, whatever you want. And you're using instructions, again, you can leave or you can just kind of write pseudocode for it or you can just write, you know, the main objectives of the project you're doing. Okay, so again, for this, for what we're doing today, we don't really need to write any of this because it's a very basic, app, uh, very basic program. Now, to start off with, as I mentioned earlier, uh, <coughs> you uh, Java's Java's main Java uses objects throughout a collection of attributes and a collection of methods are uh, all put together is made up in a class. So we can go ahead and create a class. And in this class, we're going to call it uh, Hello World App. Now, if you notice the way I've made this class name, it's using something called Camel Text, which starts off with, for a class, you start off with a capital H, and then the following words are small letters, or the following characters are small letters, but then the next word, you put it together with Hello, but it's the W of World is a capital letter, and similarly, the A for App is a capital letter but the remainder of the word remainder characters are all small letters that's your general syntax if you were to do hello world app uh, app like this it really makes no difference this is just the standard format that java uses uh, which everyone seems to use so just kind of do that Okay, so then we'll be going through abstract classes and interfaces as well, and enum classes uh, as the course goes on. 
So for now, we're just going to create a regular class, and it's the Hello World app. So I'm going to click OK. Now, before this is compiled um, into, so before we can run the program, you can see that the boxes are uh, with slashes, I guess, or you could say diagonal lines. This is before compilation. Now, if I press the button compile, assuming there are no errors, then the pro then the um, class will compile. If there are errors in the code, then the class will not compile. Therefore, you can't run it in your JVM, which is your Java virtual machine, which allows you to run the program. Okay, so what we're going to first of all do is we're going to double click on the Hello World app class, and we're going to come to the source code. If you initially come to your doc code, your documentation code, which is this, uh, we'll, I'll be going through Java doc as well in due course. Uh, for now, we don't need to know about this. Then if you do come onto this initially, then just click on source code and you get back to the main piece of code. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out... Oh, and before we do that, let me just quickly explain this to you. Uh, I'll be explaining what comments are in the next couple of tutorials um, that I make because this is just one form of comment. comment. Uh, you also got Java doc, you've got regular comments, and you've got multi-string comments, and you know, etc. Similarly, uh, as we did in Python. So, just a different style of writing. This is our main class, which is public class hello world app. The fact that it's public means that anyone can access it. Uh, if it was private, that means no one could access it, which means effectively you can't do anything with it. Uh, well, and that's in the case that if this is your top level class, which means therefore the main application can't run because you can't access it. In here, it says these are your instance variables in which you can uh, put all your fields or attributes into it. The yellow boxes are your, or this is where you can write your main block of code. In your yellow boxes where you can put all your methods, so you put methods into here as well and constructors. All these words, uh, all these terms we'll be using throughout and I'll be showing you how to construct all these and how to make all of these and how to use them in programs as well. Okay, so uh, for now we need to delete all of this except for the public class hello world app and the final closing parenthesis, uh, squiggly bracket. Now what you'll also notice is that when you um, declare a class so you've got your public class. So you have to, uh, if you're making a new class, it's all you have to you have to say that it is a class, and it's called Hello World app, and it starts with an opening pair of squiggly brackets, and therefore it must close with one. This is known as your scope. So everything, all blocks of code that's going to be written in here. So this is a single line comment. So all um, statements and code will be written within this scope, within this class that I'm writing. Okay, this is a single line comment, just to let you know. And okay, so that's that. Now what we're going to be doing is to run your main application, you have to use something called, or you have to type in something within your class called public static void main string array args and then open another pair of curly brackets and then close them as well and all your code will be written within here this is your main application so the fact that it's public means that anyone can access it static is a keyword which I'm not going to explain it to you right now but I will explain it to you very in the next couple of tutorials as well Void is very important because this means that it doesn't return anything. It will just execute the program or to execute the function and it will not return anything, but it will print something out. Main is your main application and it takes into account a string array and it uses args. So args is very important when we are writing to the terminal. Again, this will be more explained uh, in due time. Now, the first thing we have to do is in order to write hello world, it's not as easy as Python in which you could just type in print hello world. For this we have to access the system class, which has an attribute called out, 
and which has a method called print line. Now print line takes into an argument a string, or not necessarily a string, it can take into account a string, an integer, it can take into account anything, um, any type. Uh, types I'll go over in the next tutorial as well. And we're going to simply say hello world. And what you'll notice here is hello world is in double quotation marks, so in speech marks. You can't write it in single uh, speech marks like this because that won't compile. If you press compile now, it will say unclosed character literal. So what this is, this is a string literal that I'm writing. Okay, so system.out.println or print line, hello world in parentheses. And then to end all statements, you have to, have to, have to end it with a semicolon. If you don't end it with a semicolon, well, it's saying that a semicolon is expected and therefore it won't compile. Okay, so now if I do that, and then press compile, class compiled, no syntax errors. As you've noticed, if I, were, if I were to do something wrong, it BlueJ will actually tell me what I'm doing wrong. So it's saying that I need a colon, I need a semicolon here, and it will tell me where I've gone wrong. So this red, this little red bit that's highlighted means that's where I need to put it. Okay, so now if I press compile, and it says class compiled, no syntax errors, and then on BlueJ, what I have to do is I would have click it right click and then click on void main string args okay I'm not taking into account any arguments here so I'm not so this is where the value of args would come into it so if I was um, using args then which you will know how to use value um, later on in the course for now there are no arguments so I can just leave this blank and then I can just press OK and here you go hello world has appeared this is in the BlueJ terminal. Okay, so now that is done. So now we've created Hello World. So that is your first ever Java program that you've created. Now we can also go a little bit further and we can start to declare variables. Now if you've been watching my Python programming tutorials, then this should be relatively straightforward because it's the same kind of idea, just with slightly different syntax. Syntax is just the language that I'm using. Now. What I've done here is I've said print hello world. In order to create different objects or to create different instances of objects or to create different uh, types or variables in general, they will normally have a type. And you have, so in Java, which is a strictly typed language, it means you have to declare the type a lot. So for example, let's say I wanted a variable called A, which will say, hello world. As this is a statement, it ends in a semicolon. Okay, and I wanted to, you can take this out, and you can just put A. Now, though, now an error will occur when I compile it. And it says cannot find variable A. And this is because we don't know what type of value A is. Obviously, when we've written it out, we know it's a string. We know it's within quotation marks. However, we need to declare it as type string. And now it has class compiled with no errors. OK, so what this has done effectively is it's saying I'm creating a variable of type string, which is equal. So I'm assigning the, var um, assigning the value of A to hello world. And now I'm printing out the value of A to be hello world. So when I compile this, hello world will reappear. OK, so that's all I've pretty much done for now. Now in my next tutorial, I'm gonna make it's gonna be a much shorter tutorial and I'm gonna keep the exact same syntax, except I'm gonna show you how to use this in the terminal. Okay, so uh, if you'd like to know how to do that, then watch my next video. Otherwise, um, thank you very much for watching. This is Carl from CarlSapsy.com.